ever got acne on your body anywhere after shaving or waxing? Or have you noticed acne on your scalp? These actually might be Hi guys, it's Iris here and welcome back to Wishin TV. Today we're here with another episode of Wishin TV versus acne. Now, if you've been busy, we highly recommend you catch up on our latest episodes using this link right here. Today's match is Wish on TV versus fungal acne. We're gonna go through everything about fungal acne from symptoms, causes, treatments, to even ingredient recommendations. And if you have other skincare concerns you want to look up about, then search your skincare at Wish Chen TV. And also, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button and also push alert settings so you can watch our videos ASAP. Round one. Symptoms of acne. So today we have a very special guest because we've heard that this guest is suffering from breakouts and is not sure if it's quite bacteria acne or fungal acne. So let's welcome our guest. Ah! Hello. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi. Please tell us your name. Okay. Um. My name is Simon, and I'm 28 years. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Welcome, Simon. My <laughs> name you, is Iris. Um, I'm going to be asking you a few questions today. Okay. Um, so first of all, are you well aware of your skin condition currently? I believe I am. Okay. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'm pretty sure. No, actually not. No. Oh. I don't know. Ah, uh, you don't know. <laughs> okay. I think you're on the right track. Okay. Because I, I can kind of feel like the you know, caring, self-care thing in you right now. You got that right. Yeah, but you're a little confused sometimes. We're all confused. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then an easier question. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your skin type, please. Um, I have a dry skin. Okay. A very much dry skin. That's terrible because yes. it's getting colder in mm -hmm. Korea. So does dry skin cause breakouts for you? I'm not sure if it is related mm -hmm. between those two. Okay, okay. You know, like it stimulates the skin. Yeah, yeah, and it's bad for you if yeah, you have dry I, skin. I believe, yes. I'm sure it's one of the factors mm -hmm. that causes the breakouts. And actually, I wanted to ask you, um, you have a band-aid on your forehead right now. Oh, yes. This. Can you share a little <laughs> bit about what's going on, on with your well, skin? Well, um, I had to meet someone right before this mm -hmm. and you know, I really wanted to hide it. Ah, uh, okay. And I have a huge bug. Do you know the difference between fungal acne and just normal bacteria acne? No. No, yes, okay. I saw that coming, <laughs> no. And once again, that is why we have you here today. And to briefly explain more about fungal acne, fungal acne is basically an infection that's caused in your hair follicles. And it may be caused from shaving or waxing. There's sebum underneath the acne, then it's just normal bacteria acne. But if there isn't sebum, it's considered fungal acne because it's an infection. But how do we tell this apart? Well, then you should be watching until the end of this video because we're going to teach you guys how to prevent, treat, and also recommend you guys mm -hmm. good ingredients for fungal acne. Shall we get going? Let's get going. Let's get going. <laughs> Round two, cause of fungal acne. So the cause of fungal acne is because of staphylococcus. These look like little grapes winded up into each other, and this is what we call fungal acne. And as we mentioned in the beginning, fungal acne is caused from shaving or waxing because it causes infections in the hair follicles. And these both have internal and external factors. The internal factors include obesity, pregnancy, use of steroids, birth control pills, stress, and fatigue. And the external factors include too much skincare product left on your skin, bad ingredients in your cosmetic products, high humidity, high temperature, heat, sweat, and etc. And most of the times, it's hard to just pinpoint one factor because it's a combination of various of these. Round three, fungal acne treatment. Like we said before, the most important thing before we start treating our fungal acne is to actually differentiate if it's bacteria acne or fungal acne. 
And like we mentioned before, we aren't professionals and to untrained eyes, it's kind of hard to notice if it's actually sebum that's under our acne. Because if there's sebum, it's going to be bacteria acne like we all know. But without sebum, that's what fungal acne is. So it's really important that you get a proper diagnosis because if you're treating your fungal acne like normal acne, you're just going to worsen it. The second step is to not feed Demodex folliculorum. If you don't manage your Demodex folliculorum, it's going to cause both. Both fungal acne and bacteria acne. So the Demodex folliculorum actually live on your sebum. So if your sebum is getting overly produced, it's going to thrive onto your skin. And how do you know that you have Demodex folliculorum? Well, your skin is going to be itchy, it's going to get infected, and it's going to cause painful acne that's full of pus. So it's really important that you avoid these. And how you do it? Avoid high heat and high temperatures. And also try avoiding fatty acids and oils, except we do have exceptions that we're going to talk about more in the next round, so stay tuned. And last but not least, to maintain a good level of immunity. If you visit a dermatologist, they're going to say this over and over again. Listen to me. Uh, make sure you're getting your skin clean. Uh, try and stay away from drinking alcohol. Oh, no smoking. Don't go to bed too late. Get your beauty sleep. Don't get stressed out too much. Ooh, and don't touch your face with your hands. Oh, have a balanced diet rather than eating instant foods. Oh, get some sunlight too. Okay? Okay. If you've ever been to a dermatology, you've probably heard this so many times and it's really simple and small, but trust me, it works. Round four, good ingredients for fungal acne. To start off by cleansers, actually cleansers don't have a big role in fungal acne because they don't actually stay on your skin. But if we still would recommend you anything, try to stick with a low pH cleanser lower than 5.5 because you want to only get rid of the excess oil that you should be getting rid of. Second, fatty acids and oil. If you're suffering from fungal acne, you should be staying away from ingredients like fatty acids and oils. Except, we do have these three exceptions. Firstly, MCT oil, also known as coconut oil. Except, you have to be careful that your coconut oil does not have lauric fatty acid, the ingredient that keeps the coconut oil from crystallizing in room temperature. And also, you can use unscented mineral oil, which is also commonly known as baby oil. These don't provide the nutrition Melissa which is the responsible yeast for fungal acne. So unless you live in a high temperature area that's very humid, then you're fine with using these. We also recommend squalane oil because it's going to protect your skin from the UV rays and also they're going to be effective on getting rid of the fungus on your skin because they're antibacterial. For other ingredients we'd like to recommend, there's BHA that has exfoliating factors. BHA is going to dissolve the fungus on your skin and also impurities from your pores. But again, you gotta be cautious that the product you're using isn't mixing BHA with polysorbate, which is a surfactant that Melissa loves, so be careful for that. Also, we recommend honey and propolis extract. And although scientifically there isn't proof yet that honey has an effect on Melissa we all commonly know that honey has a strong antibacterial effect. So if it feels like applying honey to your skin is a little too much, we recommend that you use a product that has propolis extract in it. Lastly, sulfur ingredient. Sulfur is really effective on Melissa because it promotes the fungus to be removed from the layer of dead skin cell and it also restrains Melissa directly. But we all know it's kind of hard to get our hands on sulfur if you're just like a normal individual. So guys, I heard that By Wish Trend is working on their new product that's a spot care cream and their main active ingredient is, guess what, sulfur and it's also available on both your face and body, so you should be keeping your eye out. The winner of today's match is... Wish Chen TV! Yay! Let's go get clear skin with the facts we learned today. How did you like today's episode? 
If you have any questions or just any comments, leave them in the comments below. And now, getting back to Simon. Did you learn a lot today? Yes. Okay. I've learned a lot. A lot. A lot today. So what are you planning to do now? Well, first of all, I think I have to go to see a doctor. Yes, first. please visit the dermatologist or the clinic to actually get a proper diagnosis on what's going on with your face. So our video today is over. I hope you enjoyed. And this was Iris and Simon on Wishing TV versus Acne. Woo!